Hello to all the children and parents of the English-speaking world. My name is Juan, and I am Pa, and I am Blo, and we are all together going to tell you a story. Before that, I want to tell you that I have written 30 short stories, original, creative, that I made up many years ago to make my two little sons sleep, who now are grown, but they are marvel anyway. My stories teach values in order to grow up as a morally good person. The good news is that I made the decision of narrating them and of making videos of them. So here it is, story number four. Birds with talents. Far back in time, all birds were equal and they did what was typical. Being born from eggs, flying, eating grains and brooding in their nests. They weren't very enthusiastic animals with their lives. They were bored and they knew it. They didn't even have a name. The creator reacted to this demotivation and decided to encourage them. I have excellent news, dear animals. Form a line and I will grant own and diverse features to lift your spirits and to bring joy to your hearts. Little by little, all birds came together and the queue was taking a long shape as they were attending the talent delivery meeting. You have been the fastest to queue up and that shows interest, said the Almighty. I will give you the biggest size that I have and I will name you Ostrich. Did you see that? I am huge! All birds will have to look at me upwards when walking. So long, bird maids, or should I say tiny ones? Ha <laughs> ha! The first bird said goodbye. The father of all creatures didn't like this attitude at all and decided to punish the ostrich. Stop there, you arrogant animal. The talent I gave you is not for mocking the others. I will punish your lack of respect by disabling your capability to fly, exclaimed outraged the supreme father. I believe that a non-flying bird isn't an actual bird commented a bird, lowering its voice to a colleague in the row. Hey you, approach! For having questioned my verdict, you will be remembered as the penguin and you won't fly either, concluded the creator. Anyone else to challenge my judgments? No one? Well, who is next? asked the Almighty. When the other birds realized it was better to be humbler and show thankfulness to receive the talents, they decided to accept the gifts and to not cause controversy. As the second and third bird were the fastest in queuing up after the ostrich, they got the ultimate speed in full flight and were known as a falcon and eagle. Who wants the planet's most gorgeous plumages? asked the generous being. The most attentive, not necessarily the first in the row, raised their wings. They were known as parrots, parakeets, macaws and birds of paradise. Almighty Lord, I would like to have a flamboyant tail to attract females at the romantic moments. <laughs> you understand, said the bird in a fancy language. It was rewarded with the most beautiful tail plumage and it was named as Peacock. Hey, great lord, this is going slow. I am exhausted here, stood up in line, demanded an impulsive bird. Its request was handled to the extent of its insolence. It was granted the littlest size ever to the bird known as Hummingbird. As I am not mean, but fair in my verdicts, I will give you an unbelievable wing beat speed, nearly impossible to watch at first sight, so you can never have to touch the ground that gets you so tired, finished ironically the supreme creator. Certain birds that remained in the row had behaved up to the task. They had proven to be likable, close and sociable with the others. To you all I will give you a domestic life together with people. You will be famous among farms, roosters, hens, chickens, ducks, geese and swans 
will get along with humans, said the spirit. Generous creator, can I make myself available to live amongst men too? It seems a good life, that one, said a bird. The kind-hearted being thought of the offer and entrusted it with the important and sweet mission of carrying babies to parents from the City of Light to the cuts or cribs of the world. It was known from there onwards as a stork. Who is fond of the sea, rivers and lakes? asked the Almighty. Several birds raised their wings. Well then, there will you dwell and will get the name of albatross, frigate birds, pelicans, gannets, cormorants, seagulls and cranes, respectively, said the Creator. And you, dear bird, do you wish anything in particular? He asked the bird coming next. It answered that the human contact was easy for it, because it fed from bread crumbs at the village's squares at the time. Hmm, interesting. I will put you in charge of a communication system amongst people, especially in conflict times. Your little legs will carry messages and I will call you Pigeon, said the creator. Excuse me, I am a bird that prefers meat, but I feel affection to animals. A reason why killing them to eat complicates me in the extreme. Is there any way to eat meat where the act of depriving life may be skipped? said an honest bird. The creator responded that its talents would be big sharp claws and a powerful beak. He explained that its feeding habit would be carrion, that is, animals already hunted and dead. It would have a bald, featherless head and neck, very useful to clean themselves from their prey's filth. Its name? Vulture. Who is singing around there? asked the Almighty with pleasure. One bird whose turn was not yet raised its wing and the spirit congratulated it and said he would call it canary and its talent would be the singing, its size would be small and its plumage showy. Why? Its life would be mainly in captivity, but in compensation to live in a cage, people would feed and give water to it. Birds that followed in the long line began to receive shapes, colors and plenty of characteristics. A rosy one with long legs and curved beak was called Flamingo. A little chubby one with big eyes and a lot of wisdom was known as the Owl. A thin one with a trumpet voice was called Crane. One of the air's biggest with a red cap was known as Condor. One with a colorful and gigantic beak, compared to its body, was called Toucan. Dear generous father, I am attracted very much to live inside tree trunks. Can you help me develop some technique to make holes? asked the next bird. The Almighty thought a bit and granted it a strong beak with a skill to bore into trunk barks in order to dwell inside the trees. It was known thereafter as a woodpecker. After delivering all the talents to every bird in the monumental queue, there was one bird left. It was so shy that it hardly said a word and nobody knew if it had been in the last place for its shyness or because others had pushed it backwards. It was so much its ineptitude to make friends with others that its life was active during the night, where its good sense of smell helped it to find food. Dear bird, don't think that I feel pity for you. You are as appreciated as the rest of the birds and you must get respect. This last place of yours is a fair punishment because I almost ran out of dance for you. Interesting sizes, the singing skills, the signs for beaks, legs and tails are gone. Even the feathers are given away, reason why I will give you soft, thick hair-like feathers to cover your body. The father of all apologized. Regarding a place to dwell, an isolated habitat was remaining in a couple of islands called New Zealand, where the bird would lay the largest egg in relation to their body size of any species of bird in the world. Its name would refer also to the famous green fruit native to the same country. 
it would be known from now on as a shy and peaceful Kiwi. We are going to learn how to be respectful, tolerant and above all grateful. We will know that what is different from us is not a cause of discord, but a reason for admiration and a great opportunity to get to know what we are ignorant of. Well, dear children and parents, if you liked this story, it would be very good to me if you rate it with a like just below at right. The most important of all, please share this video with your friends. That way, all the English-speaking families of the entire world will know about this amusing story. Please click on this curved arrow below at left. And if you want to know when will I upload more story videos, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red rectangle that is down at left. In case you want to share with me on the social networking, here are the main addresses. See you till the next story. Bye bye.